Alicia Power knows about putting in hard work. The Hockey Roos keeper is working her way back from a hamstring strain, but four years ago she was facing something far more challenging. I had a series of unfortunate events very close to one another and it felt like I was drowning. After making her debut in 2017, Power couldn't break back into the squad. It just felt like I was someone was just tipping a bucket of water at me and it's like you can't breathe. It's like, you know, you just got out of a relationship and then now you've had a car accident and, now you, and I just felt like I could not breathe anymore. She started yo-yoing between intense overtraining and crushing depression and self-isolation. Power sought help from a WA Institute of Sport psychologist and over 18 months learnt techniques which were reflected in her hockey performance. Oh, that's better, that's better. It's not a quick fix and that's the thing, it's like mental health isn't a quick fix, it's a long term thing you have to work on and even to this day like I still struggle with things. Now she wants to use her experience to help others becoming an AIS mental fitness ambassador, speaking with school students about managing their mental health. Power is not an outlier in the world of elite athletes seeking mental health support. Since the establishment of its mental health referral network, the Institute of Sport says more and more sports people are asking for help. In 2019, we probably saw around 200, about 200 referrals come through the mental health referral network. Um, and in 2022, we saw about 550 referrals. The increase follows a trend across the general population as awareness of mental health grows. People are talking about mental health more. Um, and so people feel more comfortable talking and, and disclosing mental health problems within, within their sport and seeking support. Alicia Power hopes it's a trend that continues.